Okay, let's get started. Um, I'd like to thank everyone today uh, for attending uh, today's webinar on how hotels are using Agile Hotel CRM for more, more sales opportunity and revenue. Uh, before we begin, I just had a couple of housekeeping roles that I wanted to share. Uh, for the purposes of this webinar, um, all attendees are muted. Um, if you do have a question or you wanted to ask a question during the webinar, um, there is a question widget within the GoToWebinar panel where you can pose your questions. Uh, we will have a dedicated question and answer period at the end of this webinar um, where we'll address your questions. And then finally, if you're having any technical difficulties or audio issues, uh, feel free to use the chat module um, and someone from our team will get back to you. Um, and also, if you wanted to uh, follow us on LinkedIn, we're always putting up good content and we'll also be putting this recording up on our LinkedIn and Facebook feeds. Uh, you could search for us uh, using the handles below. I just wanted to share a little bit about our host before we begin. Uh, Bob Grimm is currently the CEO and co-founder of, of, of Event Temple an advanced hotel CRM and venue management software platform for hotels, uh, multi-property chains, and venues. Event Temple helps you organize every step of your group sales process, helping hoteliers uh, and sales teams book and close more opportunities and revenue. Our other host today is Yo Shape, who is a technology executive, investor, and entrepreneur, and has held CEO, COO, and CIO positions within the hospitality technology market. He is the founder and former CEO of Stay in Touch, a leading provider of modern hotel and venue management software, which was later successfully acquired by the Shiji Group, where he served as an executive vice president. Prior to that, Yost was SVP of product and engineering, leading the growth and success of the Opera products at Microsystems, which is now known as Oracle Hospitality. Now, without much further ado, I'm going to hand things over to Yost. Thanks, Joseph. Appreciate the intro. Uh, it's a small correction. Uh, Stay in Touch wasn't an event management system. It was a full property management system and still is, actually. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, why, what the advantages are going to be from an agile hotel CRM and sales system. Uh, Bob will then later go in much deeper depth uh, about those particular topics um, throughout this um, webinar. Um, Joseph, if you can move it to the first slide, that would be great. While Joseph is doing that, I think I think one thing I kind of wanted to notice is that, uh, as probably all of you have seen, there is a lot of buzz about PMS systems, revenue management system out there, booking engines and so on, but there's not too much going on, a lot too much talked about, I think also a very important part of your business which is event management and actually sales strategies within your hotel, trying to bring group, group business into your hotels. Bob, were you able to get to the first slide? Uh, yes, we're on um, the statistic and Deloitte slide. Okay. All right. So um, I think the statistic you see here is an interesting one. It, it, the, the group business, business is growing at 6 to 7% on average per year. Uh, if you take, for example, you know, a million dollar of your revenue, that would mean you're adding uh, about 70K a year onto that uh, if you do your uh, focus on, on managing sales and groups business well. 70k is is a, you know, it's a pretty nice uh, nice set of money. Uh, if you have more, multiple more millions of dollars of revenue, obviously that that amount would increase. And I think one of the interesting components also of group businesses or direct business is that it's a lot cheaper than FTEs that come in usually or often through OTAs. So doing your group business well and being efficient in it, I think, is a very important aspect of running a hotel sales team properly. Um, next slide, please. The acquisition cost that you see here is also a very interesting one. You can see that uh, independent hotels and chains have a fairly, I would say, you know, affordable 
acquisition cost of getting groups business into the hotel. If it goes through a brand, it's much more expensive and that's probably because the brands or all, multiple other channels will take part of the cut before the hotel revenue ends up actually into the hotel. But if you again take the same number, uh, if you can reduce that percentage of cost with one or two percent on a million revenue, you'd save ten to twenty thousand dollars, which A would easily pay for a very good sales and catering or sales CRM system. And B, it would also help you to become more efficient in driving that type of business to your hotels. So in the first two slides, you've kind of seen two two statistics. The first one shows you clearly that if you continue that the business in group areas is continues to grow at six to seven percent per year, which is additional revenue that you need to focus on. And the second one is if you try to become more efficient and reduce the cost of acquiring that business, you can gain uh, quite substantial benefits there. Uh, so I think it's very essential that you work and optimize the process of selling and working within your sales team. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So in the next few slides, we'll talk about what the advantages can be or what importance is of having an agile focused sales CRM system. Um, it's, as you can see, organization and being organized is really important uh, in, in, in general business doing, but also in all kinds of other areas. If you are organized, if you know who your leads are, if you know who your contacts are, contacts are if you know your organization and companies that you want to do business with, life becomes a lot easier. Prospecting will go a lot faster because it's all right in front of you. Following up will go a lot faster and you also get a much better uh, overview of what's going on. So not only business is growing, but the cost of business is also fairly high, especially with brands where multiple parts of process take a cut in leaving less for hotels. So for this reason, okay, so sorry about that. A good sales process is important. Make sure you have good manual process at first. I think that's pretty much key. If you don't know how to do your process and you try to automate it, you will not be successful. But then when you bring on top of a good manual process, you bring automation, and you can further optimize to reduce the cost of labor efforts, you'll see huge gain. So being organized is, I think, one of the main things. As I mentioned earlier, know your contacts, know your leads, know your prospects, but also know in what state these people are at that point in time. When, you're, when software is in the cloud, which most of it is these days, but a lot of hotels still have you know, legacy systems that are not in the cloud. When it's in the cloud, it's easily accessible everywhere. I'm going to only assume that as a, business person and as a salesperson you probably will go and meet your hotel customers on a regular basis so you'll be out and about not close to a computer so if, if you were to have a legacy system very difficult to access that with a cloud-based agile crm system that thing becomes a lot easier you can potentially use your mobile phone or your laptop or your ipad to access data around content or an organization management so a good contact database will also allow you to follow up with emails, so automate part of your follow-up process. And all of that, you'll just have the touch of a button in front of you. Next slide, next slide please. So revenue and pipeline management is probably the next thing. Once you have figured out your contacts, once you've figured out um, your organizations and companies, uh, the key is how do I get that pipeline to grow and how do I get companies or business opportunities to move along that pipeline? If you do that manually, it becomes very difficult to achieve that. It's also very labor intensive then because then you probably use spreadsheets, Word documents, all kinds of other files to keep track of what you're doing. If you, however, put it into a CRM system that's automating the process to a, to a large extent for you, things will go a lot faster. So. It's important that you keep track of the pipeline. It's very important that you know every aspect of the hotel sales and every sales status of that particular point. When you have a pipeline system in place, you also have KPIs that give you uh, opportunities and details about the state of the deal that you're working on. You can see much easier that your pipeline is growing. You can share it with other people, which I think is also very important to be able to do. And pipeline by itself, if the pipeline grows and things move along in the status, even though you have to close the deal, it does show that your sales process is moving forward, which gives usually everybody a much better uh, feeling about how things are going. 
So in hotel sales, the only, it's not only about filling your hotel rooms and know about the availability of those hotel rooms. It's also important that you truly understand where exactly in the process of your sales you are, where deals are and how can you move those deals to the next level and hopefully eventually close those deals. Next slide, please. So sales, sales automation and automation of that process, I think, is, is very important these days. It will help you uh, get through things faster. You can reduce the day-to-day -day labor effort of spending time and putting it all in place much better. Um, you can also see um, much more satisfaction in prospect, prospecting and closing new groups. Uh, you, you'll have more time to find uh, to, to actually meet with guests and groups, uh, so you may, you'll be able to minimize your administrative overhead. Uh, if, if the system is well designed and works well for you, the entering of a new contact, the entering of a new opportunity or a new company should be pretty straightforward. Probably many co copy functions involved in it. So a lot of the time and effort spent in administrative work, if you had manual systems, will go away when you have a sales process that's fully automated. Uh, next slide, please. Now here's, I think, an important statistic. 34% uh, you know, of the people that work in sales spend time on, they only spend 34% of time on selling, which is, you know, if you think about it, not a lot. 57% of them expect, therefore, to miss their quota because they spend most of their time on doing administrative work that does not necessarily always benefit the purpose of selling. Uh, if you have a manual process, as I mentioned uh, previously, that you know that makes that makes that maybe, maybe even bigger. But if you automate the whole process, I think you can reduce, you can increase the percentage of time that's actually focused on selling quite dramatically. Um, if you if you can, let's say, get 34% to go to 50 or 60, you will probably get much closer to be able to close your quota at a much faster and better rate. I think you also create a lot more job satisfaction. One thing that I've always heard, even you know, even on our side, even when we were selling software, you also have to sell. It's kind of the same process. Salespeople don't like to spend time on administrative efforts, no matter how important they are. So what you want to do is you want to find software and solutions that make that easier for the salespeople, but yet acquire them and enable them to do that. So <clears throat> trying to find an agile CRM that automates a large part of this administrative work, which is important because you want to get the data to make decisions into any system, will definitely help you increase your revenue opportunities for a hotel. Next slide, please. I think, I think now that we've talked a lot about pipeline management and how to do it and how to automate it and what's important of it is, I think if you look at the world of software out there, uh, especially focused on SaaS, there's lots of CRM opportunities. There's lots of SaaS applications, there's lots of sales applications, but there's very few that also handle the actual fulfillment of a large part of a hotel business. If you get a group, it's very often also involving a wedding, a conference, a meeting, or whatever it is. It's involving other revenue areas that are very often difficult to manage and follow through if it's a standard off-the-shelf uh, sales application. You know, everybody, of course, knows salesforce.com. They're the largest. They do a very good sales and pipeline process, but when you combine that with the fulfillment requirements that hotels need, things become a bit more complicated or they become very expensive because what they do, what Salesforce does have, is they have third parties that can build add-ons for you that would then give you, for example, event management and would give you meeting opportunities, but uh, that'll be very expensive. So I think I think one of the biggest things for hotels to look at with a hotel CRM is to ensure that it a can handle pipeline management, that it can handle room revenue, that it can handle events management and revenue, and not only in, as you know as it relates to the sales process, but also as it relates to the fulfillment. Uh, whereas the PMS handles the fulfillment of the rooms, uh, the event management system or the CRM system should be able to handle the fulfillment of weddings, uh, meetings, and all these rooms that are related to, to that particular component of a transaction. Next slide, please. If you then um, 
add all of that together. So if, you, if you've decided that you want to have a very good um, agile CRM system and you want to automate a large part of the data collection or make it a lot easier so you can actually enforce in a friendly way your hotel sales staff to keep data up to date and keep status up to date what's going to happen is you're going to be able to you're going to build up a database with your own data with your own facts with your own actions uh, from your your you as a team your hotel staff that can then enable you <clears throat> to research that data and review the components of that data. What can you do about it? What happens today? You know, you could look at uh, certain stats. How long does it take to get certain groups of revenue through the pipeline? Is it worth following those through on those groups of revenue? Or should I maybe focus on different companies that go faster through the pipeline at a higher price? All of these things become visible once you start uh, using a SaaS CRM system with a very good reporting module. Um, Data and insights, I think, are two very important things to be successful in sales. Um, you, know, you want to know what's going on with your prospects. You want to know where they are at any given time. And you also want to be able to access that information at any given time. So you, as a hotel sales team, can make very good and the right decisions. Next slide, please. Um, I think also a very important part of a CRM that's being used in a hotel uh, is that, of course, it needs to integrate to the main components of a hotel, one of them which is the PMS system, the other one is probably the point of sales system, and it may be in a lesser extent into the accounting system, as that often gets done through the PMS system. So if you're looking for a very good CRM system, make sure it has the proper integration. Determine for yourself, for yourself what is it that you need to have flow between, for example, the PMS and the sales engagement system. Good thing is, is that the CRM system that we're working with here today has good integrations to a number of PMS systems. They're two-way, um, so they eliminate also a lot of extra data entry. Uh, you know, might be that this, you know, the sales team enters the data in the, in the sales system, then the hotel team has to enter it again into the property management system, which would be dual and extra effort. Um, all of that can be avoided by good integration. So again, make sure that the sales and the sales system that you, you you get is very agile and has very good pipeline management. You can get it organized, uh, that you can follow through, that it has a good way of collecting data, and that it has great APIs to integrate it with, you know, other third parties you want to do business with. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so here are two uh, very interesting data. Points, I think uh, high performing sales teams are one and a half times more likely to base forecast and data to base forecasts on data driven insights, whereas 46% uh, of the sales reps actually base it on intuition. So, or 1.7 base it on intuition, which is obviously not a good thing to do. It's much better to make your decision based on data that always in the end works. So, which basically means, as I was trying to say earlier, unfortunately, only 46 of the sales reps have data insights on customers' uh, propensity to buy, uh, which makes it very hard to be effective at their job. Um, so, again, make sure that you collect data, make sure that you put a process in place that uses the, the sales system that you have and provides you with the numbers to make the right decisions on. Um, it says it all. You know, if you have these numbers, you will be successful. So it's important to know where you stand, uh, which leads do work well, which do not work for you. And I think the big takeaway also of, one of some of these statistics is that without CRM hotels are for 50% shooting in the dark. And um, in 2019, almost 2020, you don't need to shoot in the dark anymore. You want to know what's going on. You want to upgrade your organization and your processes to be effective in sales so that you can grow and bring more revenue to these hotels. There's always plenty of room to do that. Find, you know, off-season opportunities or find ways to get things go faster through a sales pipeline. So with that, I want to hand it over to Bob, who's uh, going to talk a bit more about the actual system itself. And definitely because of his experience, he'll also give you much more insight about how such a sales process can be very effective for your hotels. Bob. Yeah, thank you very much, Yos. Um, thanks for having me. And um, just going to see Joseph. Um, yeah, I think I'm all loaded up on my side. 
So if we can jump to the next slide, I want to talk a little bit about um, CRM and some of the things we've learned at Event Temple as we've worked with uh, hotels in over 14 countries. So the biggest thing that we found is that CRM is a great concept. Um, it's an invaluable tool, but your team has to use it and they have to adopt it. And so finding a system that's really easy to implement, learn, and actually use every day is going to be one of the most critical components. We see um, that users at hotels are reluctant to enter data. Um, common example could be entering lost reasons when, when business gets turned down or when they choose a competitor. Um, and then also the one reasons, right? So we can track where are we getting success, where are we losing? Um, and I always say to our sales team, success is simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. And so we need actionable data. And we only get that by ensuring they actually are using that CRM each and every day, every time a lead comes in, every time they interact with a customer, and any time they perform a sales activity. You can jump to the next slide there, Joseph. So one of the reasons we started this company is we looked at um, the traditional CRM and why there needed to be one specifically for hotels. And that's a really important question because, of course, as Yost mentioned, we've got tools out there on the market today like Salesforce. Uh, first, we found there's a really high cost to hotels when you look at per user pricing. And per user pricing doesn't make sense to a hotel because you're not usually more successful because you've got a bigger team. Usually you're more successful in a chain or management group if you're adding more properties, growing revenue. Um, the other thing is most CRMs offer sales activity tracking, lead management, a few reports, but at a hotel you've got to manage you know, groups, uh, room blocks, meetings and events. You want to be sending proposals and contracts, managing corporate rate agreements in addition to account management and lead management. And this is something we didn't see before. The other thing we noticed is uh, when you go with a standard CRM, there's a lot more clicking involved and learning and confusion because there's so many different steps and features in the software that they're paying for that they're not using. So with an agile CRM just for hotels, you're going to be having everything you need and nothing you don't. The simplest way to actually do your job, manage your pipeline, send a proposal, build a group at an event. Um, and so just less steps, everything you need, and then pricing that makes sense that's uh, value-based for what your property actually needs and uses. Okay, the other thing that um, we're really opinionated on at Event Temple and believe strongly is my background is in sales. I was doing it for over a decade. And what I learned again is back to that, it's simple, but it's not easy concept. And if you look at um, salespeople that get results, it's all about prioritizing the right activities at the right time in a consistent way and making data-driven decisions. So when you look at your pipeline going, which deal am I going to work on first? And what are the next steps to get that deal just to the next stage in the pipeline? Often as salespeople, we look at um, the sales process so black and white to say, oh, it's either one deal or a lost deal. I either replied to the leader, I didn't. But every step in between should be carefully measured and managed to say, okay, I sent them a proposal. I didn't hear back. What's, what's an appropriate next step? Have I taken the next step? Or am I just sending proposals and nothing's ever happening? So as sales managers as well, we want to really be able to dig into what the team is doing and look at what activities are they performing, what's getting results, what isn't. So it gives you a more repeatable process. It gives you a way to train new reps and identify wins. So if you get a 10% optimization on each stage of your pipeline, um, that adds up to big results over time. Okay, so we know from the research that having a strong mapped out sales process, which is basically done through pipeline management, is proven to increase revenue. It also reduces stress and increases efficiency, I think, because your people know what to do and what they're being measured on. I think fair management is one that says, hey, this is how you win, this is how you lose. If you do the right things, you'll win. If you don't do them, you'll lose. And making it easy for you to manage results, um, not people. So. When we have a clearly defined sales process, you can see there's an 18% difference in revenue growth, which is huge. Um, and then if you're spending the time managing your pipeline every month, you're going to see an 11% greater revenue growth there too. 
And so training sales teams on pipeline management um, can really, I mean, objectively it's proven to grow revenue and uh, much faster too. Okay, earlier I mentioned data-driven decision-making and really taking the time to analyze uh, the information in your CRM. So when we look at what's going on in the pipeline, that's great. We can see what you're prioritizing, um, what activities you have coming up, whether you're prospecting or responding to incoming leads. We can break the process down. Um, but what's great is to set KPIs, which are key performance indicators, around each part of the pipeline and really measuring a few key things at each stage. And if you're doing that consistently over time with accurate data, you're going to see huge obvious areas for improvement. One could be, uh, I gave the example earlier, that you're sending a lot of proposals out and you're not getting replies. Well, maybe for an example there, you'll have your salespeople set an appointment as a standard operating procedure that every single proposal sent has to have a time in the calendar that the customers agreed to where you're going to review that proposal together. Um, so little things like that can really add up over time, and you're only going to see those opportunities through consistently analyzing data that you're pulling from your CRM. So I want to give an example of some other metrics that we think every sales team should be tracking. Of course, um, you know, you want to be tracking, are you on pace? Am I getting my sales activities done? But just every month sitting down and going through sales growth, right? in terms of revenue, but also in terms of number of bookings, uh, new opportunities generated versus existing. We find some salespeople, they're not out generating new opportunities and prospecting. And, or if they are, they're not paying enough attention to existing business or past business. Um, tracking their sales target, um, their closing ratio, average deal value or purchase value. Um, I'm a big fan of tracking sales activities per rep per month. Even if you have a GM on site, and you know how that they have some downtime to do some sales activities. A few activities done consistently every single week are much better than nothing. And by setting those goals and giving a clear way to track whether they're done or not, um, you're going to get more output from that person. By giving them a simple system to actually do the work makes it so that they're more likely to get it done and you've now enabled them. So you're getting more leverage from your existing team. Um, also, just looking at how you're doing. Um, you know, why are you losing business? Why are you winning business? If you're advertising what's paying off, what isn't? And really systemizing and turning this into a science versus just an art or a skilled salesperson. This is a process that you can now have um, new hires repeat and follow and they're gonna get the same uh, success and results too. So I want to talk quickly, and we can jump to the next slide here, Joseph, about a customer of ours called the Victus Group, and they have a few different branded hotels in their portfolio. They have 10 different hotels um, under management, and some of those include Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, Best Western, Quality Inn, Marriott Fairfield Inn, and they came to Event Temple. I don't believe they had a CRM in place before. And their main goal was pipeline management. Now, some of these hotels had meeting space, some didn't, some were heavy on prospecting, looking for corporate rates, some for groups, some accommodation, and they really wanted one system to do it all. So to arm the salesperson to go, okay, we wanna know what activities you're doing, we wanna make it easy for you to send proposals and agreements that can be e-signed, we wanna be able to manage our event space, we want this to be simple, easy to use, and easy to learn, so we have this data, and then really clear reporting so we can see what's working and what's not. So they've implemented Event Temple across the entire portfolio and they've seen a lot of success with it. And again, really centered around that pipeline management. So I wanna jump into a live demo of Event Temple now. And I'm just gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you around a little bit so you can see what pipeline management uh, looks like. And this is the software here. So when we talk about a pipeline, we really mean a visual sales pipeline where you can input new leads. And those can be inbound leads from your website or from your email, or they can be people you want to prospect. 
and everything is centered around the screen. You can change the stages to map your sales process out that you want your salespeople to follow. But the key here is if you've mapped out the right pipeline steps, you're really training the salespeople how you want them to do it just by using the software. You can see here there's a few simple options of calendars, events, and groups, but it's very simple to use and learn and just get rolling with. Another thing is you drag and drop everything from one stage to the next. So if I had Richard Branson, he asked me for some availability for a group, and I want to send my proposal, I can drag him into the send proposal stage, and I can click on his file. And I'm going to show you now how easy it is to add a group or an event or both and actually send that proposal. So for my group, I just click Add here. And I can choose my arrival date, my departure date, enter my block. It's got all my rates here, and it's going to sum everything up. So it's very simple. I just enter it and hit Save. And events work the same way. I just, if I have a meeting space, I just choose my space. I can add my menu items if I'd like, and I hit Save again. OK, if he calls me, I can add notes. And it's going to time and date stamp the user. So one key thing here is in your traditional CRM, you wouldn't have a group or an event attached to a pipeline like this. This wouldn't exist anywhere. And this also has unlimited users. So everyone who's on your team selling can be using this. Now, another thing that um, hotels need to do is they need to send agreements and proposals and customers need to sign them. So we want to make that really easy. So in Event Temple, you just click the proposal button. Okay. And I can open my email right inside the program. So if you're using Outlook or hotel specific, it's going to be from your actual email. This is your email. Saves you a step of clicking out of Event Temple, going into Outlook. It's all inside here. And I can click send right here, and the customer is going to get a digital link. Now, if I click preview, I can see this is actually what the customer will see when they click on that link. They're going to see the proposal auto populates, it's all branded. Okay, I can add notes, can see all the quote details, whatever I want to see on here, I can. I can have notes to them. But the key here is that they can sign it digitally online. So, in just a couple steps, I've managed my pipeline, I've added a group or an event. And I can actually send this out to the customer to be signed online. Now, the other thing I want to show you is prospecting. So in prospecting, I can have my list of accounts. Let's go to Virgin here. I can click into an account. And this is really your traditional CRM capability. So in you know, a non-hotel specific CRM, this is all you would get really is the accounts and contacts. Um, but in Event Temple, there's some really hotel specific things like market segment. Um, I can track the referral source. I can track the salesperson of the hotel that found this account originally. I can even have parent accounts. So I could say, oh, okay, you four different hotel salespeople have each found an account you know, at a different city. But these all tie into the national Coca-Cola account, for example. Right? So that's all here. I can track their social media as well, all the contacts. But one of the keys here is I can also track my tasks. So I can have my activity. You know, I'm going to do a drop-in. Okay, when? What's the goal? And then I can track when it's completed and my results. So all my prospecting is in the system. And then finally, I can track my corporate rates. So if I have a corporate rate with Virgin Airlines here, I can track that I have 100 rooms forecast to be used, five actually used. And as they pick them up, I can run reports on that and see that live. So Everything is now in the tools. In the old way, you'd have your CRM, plus you pay another uh, amount of money for your proposal and signature software, and you pay again for event software, and you, you wouldn't get corporate rate tracking or groups. Well, the new way with Event Temple is you've got your pipeline management, you've got your groups, you've got your events, your proposals, your contracts, your e-signatures, your corporate rates, and full CRM for a lower price with no user limit in a modern interface. The last piece I want to touch on is Event Temple is something that we purposefully work really hard to make easy to use. And we have everything in an online university. The reason for that is, is we know that hotel uh, staff turnover is about 50% a year on average across the country. So when we looked at that stat, we thought, okay, we don't want to have to be one of these companies where you need an on-site training every time someone new comes on or you know, 
multiple days of study they need to get in and they need to be able to work with this. So they can take our university course online. Yeah, it's probably about 20 minutes long. Every single feature is a 30 second to one minute clip. And then it's very intuitive as well. They really just click on the leads and bookings page, manage their pipeline, build their group or event, send their proposals, get their signatures. And when they're ready to book them, they just mark them here, change status, make it definite. It's going to turn green and they can put it in that line and then run all of their reports at it from the reporting tab. So Joseph, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and give you back uh, control here. See if I can do that. Okay. There you go, Joseph. Thank you very much. I'm just going to bring up the slide again. Uh, thank you both, uh, Yos and Bob. We'll now move over uh, to our question and answer period. Um, we do have a couple of questions. Um, Yos, I think this one is for you. Uh, any thoughts on how the sales CRM should best integrate with the PR, uh, with the PMS? What minimum feature should I expect? Uh, Sorry, Yos. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering. Uh, can you ask the question again, Joseph? I was trying to get all the. Yeah, no worries at all. Um, just give me one second. The question was: Any thoughts on how the sales CRM should best integrate with the PMS? Uh, what minimum feature should I expect? Yeah, <clears throat> good question. Um, I mean, I, I think that the minimum definitely has to be that there is a clear understanding on both sides of the system what's the availability of the rooms. Um, I think that's probably the key. Uh, if the CRM system can be can provide integration in such a way that the quoting of a uh, let's say a wedding with rooms and some meeting rooms or you know party rooms can be done from one step, so from within the CRM, I think that that would be a major advantage, and that requires either knowing about the data in the PMS or be or basically looking it up in real time. Um, either way, so to me. T truly important is being av availability equal on both sides and then for sure, uh, you know, the group details. Uh, and then, of course, the guests, not necessarily the guests, but the companies that are relevant to the group in the PMS need to be shared as well. So I would say company data, um, room data, and uh, group data are key both ways. So two-way integration. Perfect. Uh, we have another question. Uh, I think this one might be for Bob. Uh, we don't do very much prospecting and most of our opportunities come in through phone calls. How does CRM help with group sales in that context? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, one really awesome feature that we built is the ability to take email inquiries and forward them right into Event Temple. So you're in your email working away. Someone says, hey, what's your price and availability for this group? You click forward, there's a special address, and it pulls it right into the system. So right there, you're getting all the groups and all those inquiries into a central database. And I think that's really important. You don't want to you know, potentially lose that information because even if they don't book the group this time, they may book it in the future. And you also want to track you know, where are my inquiries coming in from, um, what accounts are inquiring, and if they're not booking, why, right? So just getting that data into the system and making it really easy to do so is critical. From there, you're going to want to turn that inquiry into a booking. And so common steps to do that are, of course, following up. Are you following up at the right cadence, in the right way uh, with that customer? And scheduling those follow-up activities and tracking that they actually get done in the CRM is key. And then you're going to want to actually send a proposal to the customer, make it easy for them to sign it. That's what we built, the digital signature. Um, so there's no resistance, right? They get that link, they can sign right there online and um, you know, get that proposal to them faster than any of your competitors. And then actually track the booking so that you have a list of all your incoming groups and have that synced so that it's in your PMS and also in Event Temple. And then 
uh, reporting. So then you can report on, you know, what market segments are producing for us, what sales people, um, how many follow-ups does it take to get a group to book on average, how long from the inquiry time uh, till the time of the contract being signed. So data like this you can then look at. Um, so it gives you a holistic picture of the entire customer journey from inquiry by email or phone all the way to after they booked. And now you have them in your database. So um, when you're out prospecting for future business or if you don't prospect, you can still look at your past accounts that have worked with you because um, those are your best opportunity for repeat business. Perfect. Uh, we have one other question. Um, we only have one salesperson and have looked into CRMs like Salesforce, but haven't been able to justify the costs. Do we still need a CRM? Sure, I can take that one. So the key for me is if you're paying a salesperson already, you might as well leverage them um, to get as much, you know, as much success for you as possible. So if you've only got one person on site, that means they've got a lot of responsibility. They've got to work with old accounts to get them producing new business with you again. Um, you've got to, you know, prospect, and then you've got to be looking at your activities to make sure you're doing the right amount of follow-ups, sending the right activities. So we really look at a system as giving your existing salesperson, you know, superpowers because you're already paying them. If, if you said, you know, you have an investment for, you know, a few hundred dollars a year, you can leverage that investment to be 10%, 15% more productive and valuable. You would probably do it. Um, so the other thing is those existing CRMs you've looked at in the past, they're going to charge you just for accounts and contacts and leads. You know, the new way with Agile Hotel specific CRM is you're going to have the proposals, the digital signatures, the pipeline management, all there in the system for you, not to mention automation to get you more out of your existing investment into that salesperson. So I would say if you're already spending the money, it's the best investment you can get to leverage that existing person and, you know, produce way more revenue out of them. Great. Um, we'll just give a moment uh, to see if there's any more questions. Again, if you do have a question, uh, you could use a question widget uh, to ask your question now. Uh, we'll just give you, uh, the audience um, a moment and to ask any final questions. Okay, I think uh, there aren't any more questions. I'd like to thank uh, both Yos and Bob, thank you so much for being panelists on our webinar on our webinar today. Um, yeah. And I'd also like to thank the audience uh, for attending. Um, if you have any questions, you can get in touch uh, with us um, with Bob Bob actually directly. Um, if you have any questions about anything that was shared on the webinar today, uh, there will be a recording that will be sent directly to your email. And if you follow us on social, you should also see the posting there. Uh, thank you, everyone, again for attending, uh, and we hope to see you at uh, some of our future webinar events. Thank you. Thank you.